Alright, hello, I'm back again for part four. Um, sorry, I had to cut the last one short, didn't realise I'd gone so, um, over time. Um, so, um, yeah, I'll pick up where I left off. Um, to install the skin, the leopard skin um, that you downloaded, um, you just have to go to my computer, go into C drive, go to program files. And then scroll all the way down to Rocket to see Rocket Dock. Um, go to Sims, and then you just click and drag the file over like that, and drop it in. And then um, once you've done that, you can exit out. Right-click in your dock, click Dock Settings, and then come down to Style and on this list here you'll see leopard just click OK and um, it'll change the dock theme to leopard and you have this um, nice leopard theme OK so the next thing you want to do is if you don't want rocket dock you can choose to use uh, one called RK launcher which was um, I'm, t as I'm told modeled on um, the Mac dock Um, I'm not sure whether it was, but you can just click download and um, download that one. It's um, it's not an EXE file. Um, like a setup, you have to run. It's just a standalone thing, so you need to create your own folder with um, to host, hold all the um, DLL files and stuff like that in. Um, I don't like using it, um, I couldn't get it, I prefer to use Rocket Dock. Um, you'll want some icons for your dock, so um, we'll come to this, another DeviantArt link. And um, this will give you this link, um, it's 298 icons. Um, I'm not going to download them because it will take too long um, for this video and um, I don't really have the patience at the moment. But um, they are really good quality. Um, I used them before, but I don't use them anymore. You can probably see that I use some uh, more. Some of them I use um, like um, iPhone sort of icons for them. You just click download, and um, it'll download all the PNGs. And to change an icon, you just right right click on something, click on icon settings. You can change the title of it. And um, these are all the default icons that you get with Rocket Dock, um, but they really suck. Now you just um, you just click the plus sign here, and you can browse, and you can go to the folder where you've stored all your dock icons, and it'll come up as a little folder under this. So when you got that, you'll have a list of all the icons here. You can just select something like that and click OK, and it'll change the icon to whatever you had it to um, the new one that you chose and um, it'll show up over here and um, that's it for the docks um, another cool little extra you can get is this um, thing called Mac Sound and on this um, this is what it does it just changes the volume button when you click on the volume button there's um it'll give instead of it'll give you this sort of slider instead of having um this big huge menu like this you just have um this little you see the volume going up here and you just use this slider to move it up and down for the volume um you just download the um zip file it, you extract it and there's a exe file in there you just run that the other one is um t clock this just gives you a um sort of Mac clock. Um I didn't use it but um you can if you really want to. And um last thing actually I forgot to include in my bookmarks was the um Apple um cursors. You search it here, um
and um, yeah, I'll just provide the link for this. Um, yeah, it's from Win Matrix. This is where I download it from. I'll provide the link to this. Um, you just download this zip file. Um, you strap them to whatever directory you want. And um, as you can see, if I go into my documents, um, I have there Mac OS X cases, and um, they'll just all load in there. You can't see the preview at the moment because my computer's been a bit slow, um, but they're all there and work. And then um, what you do is you go to Control Panel go to mouse click on pointers and then you can customize it so you click on this one you click um, for the normal select you click browse and you go to wherever you installed it um, for the folder for the cursor so here you can see they're all named the same so normal select just click here click normal select and click ok click open and it'll load that, you just choose all them just go through them like that, there are there aren't as many there but you can just choose um, a certain theme it's like all it does is just changes these um, coloured ones and um, I think that's actually about it um, it's that um, should conclude it, the other thing that you can do is download a thing called FlyerKai OS 10 and um, all that does is just like a brico pack for Windows XP to make it look like a Mac but um, I wouldn't recommend installing it but if you really want to and you can't bother going through all that you can just click download and it'll give you all the extras and stuff that you can install for it and um, it'll mod a load of your um, DLL files to make it look like um, Mac um, but I don't like doing that, so, but you can if you want to, um, I suppose it's not a big deal, but, yeah, and, um, if you just wait one sec, I will go through everything again, and I will show you what, um, it should look like once you've had everything downloaded. Okay, here we are, I have, um, completed my Mac transformation, actually apart from one thing. Okay, here we are. Got my dock down there at the bottom with my leopard theme, leopard wallpaper, which you can just search for by googling. Mac toolbar, um, semi-transparent. Mac start bar, Mac icons. I didn't do the style of things. So I showed you that before. You can see how it works. All my icons have changed. you can see it's um, pretty much a complete transformation um, I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and um, I'm actually cutting it pretty fine here um, I hope to hope you enjoyed this and I hope it helped you if you really wanted it to look like this okay um, see you next time bye